Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you will enjoy the video and as always, thank you so much for watching. This man basically begged me to unblock him so he can tell me everything wrong with me. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? How exactly was he begging you to unblock him if he was blocked? And you want people to take you seriously? Come on now. You know, fellas, one day when the game gets old and the nights get long, you're going to think of her and realize she was everything you wanted and needed and you're going to pick up that phone. And I pray on that day when she looks down and sees your name that she's strong enough not to pick it up. Yeah, but to me it sounds that your night started to become pretty long. For us it's pretty easy. When the nights are too long, we can just order in. They'll show up at the doorstep and best part about it is they'll leave in the morning. I just saw um, an ick on TikTok that is just treacherous. Like, it's earth shattering, okay? And I'm about to share it because I think it's hilarious. But if you, like, genuinely like a guy right now and you want to continue to like him, like, there's nothing wrong with him, you're going to need to scroll. You don't want to hear this. But if you need an ick, you're going you're gonna to want to tune in. Okay, so imagine he's getting a haircut, which is already foul, but there's more. Um... So the barber or the hair person, whatever, turns him around to reveal, <laughs> to reveal the cut. And he has to be like, oh my God, love it. <laughs> Imagining that scenario has me sick to my stomach. It also has me crying laughing. And it has me going to get my eggs out tomorrow so I could do IVF and have a kid without a guy when I'm like 35. So mission accomplished. This got to the point where you're pretty much just looking for reasons just for the sake of looking up for reasons. Getting a haircut is foul? How is that foul? But good on you that you have your mission. Men's mission is to stay away from women like you. Oh, and by the way, is that a baby pacifier on your finger or is that something else? I have a question for men that happen to sleep with women and be attracted to women. When you're having a casual relation with a woman and you find your completion and she does not, do you feel bad about it? And if you don't, how do you justify that to yourself? Like, I feel like one of the thought processes has to be, well, if we were dating, I would care. If we were dating, I'd put in all that effort. Um, why do you only care about women enjoying themselves and respecting them to have a mutually beneficial experience if you feel like you've ownership over them? Uh, that's something I'd really like men to start unpacking. It's kind of getting old. I'm very lucky to be bisexual. Yeah, I think you're kind of missing the point here. When you're talking about hookups, that's gonna be transactional. And some men will be, I'm just gonna get mine and that's it. Is it fair? Probably not. But I've seen so many TikToks, so many women saying they got theirs and the men didn't get theirs, but they kicked them out anyway. And you can't really expect everyone to care about everyone else. In the end, you can just stand there and tell me that you care about everyone else, but I really doubt it. When you go and buy groceries, you're gonna care about whoever is at the cash register, if they'll have groceries to put on their table that night? Nah. There are about 8 billion people in the world right now. Do you mean to tell me you care about every single one of them? You know when you go on a date with somebody and you almost immediately know it's not a match? But you knowing it's not a match doesn't mean you're not gonna have fun. You know what I mean when I say fun. And so you leave the evening feeling good, you're 100% certain you will never speak to or see this person again, but you feel good about your night. And then the next day hits and the person that you know you'll never see again hasn't reached out. And for some God forsaken reason, it is really damaging your ego. And you can identify that this isn't the healthiest thing because you yourself said you were never gonna see this person again. But the fact that they didn't reach out, the fact that they didn't wanna ever see you again. Yeah, sure, I didn't wanna see you again, but I really would have liked the validation that you enjoyed my company. And I just know I'm not alone in that. I know other people have felt this way before. Yeah, so like I said earlier, no one cares. It's a shame that you didn't feel validated the next day, but it will happen sometimes. This is pretty much the main reason why hookup culture doesn't really work for all the women out there. Because most of them, the next day, will feel used and they'll feel terrible about themselves. And to be completely honest with you here, 
That guy, whoever he was, didn't want you anything. You both knew what you wanted, you got a little fun, and that's it. Obviously reaching out to you so you don't have your feelings hurt, it was not one of his main concerns. I promise, 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 promise. Promise. I know it's super hard to leave. You don't want to do it. But I promise. No response is the absolute best response. Yeah, no matter how many times you're going to say promise or pinky promise or whatever you want to say, it's still not going to make it true. Just because you believe in something, it doesn't mean it's true. And no, no response, it's not going to be the best response. Whatever happened with communication is key. Whatever happened to that? When I say I love all women, I don't mean pygmies. Pygmies are one of the boys after all. And I don't hate all men. I hate the patriarchy under which all men have been raised and only some have managed to unlearn. Yeah, so pretty much you only love or like the ones that agree with you or have the same mindset. Because you cannot handle a different opinion than yours. Um, okay, this is just a question to all the men out there. Um, where do you get the audacity? I will never speak for anyone else. I'm going to speak only for myself. Me, I get it from you. But hold on, there's more. I feel like a new woman. I got my Botox. I got my lips done. I have a tan. I'm newly unemployed. I am very unstable, but I'm going on vacation. <laughs> Be my friend, be my friend. Yeah, I'm that old, I remember Chucky. I could bet money only a few days from now on. She's gonna post a video where she asks everyone else to meet her standards and know her worth. Well, princess, I'm only gonna say this. All that Botox and all of that, that's your entire worth. And obviously that lost any kind of worth the moment you left the doctor's office. Okay, ladies, if you are dating or in the talking stage, I'm gonna give you a tip that will literally change your whole experience for you. When you're dating a guy, you have to get him to believe that you are so independent and you're not talking to him because you need him, okay? You're talking to him because you want to. And when you can get yourself to believe that and realize that like, I don't need this man, I'm talking to him because I want to, it's gonna change your actions, it's gonna change everything revolving around this man and it's just gonna change the game for you, okay? You're talking to him because you want to, not because you need him. And when a man knows that the girl that he's dating doesn't need him, when he starts acting up, it's gonna change the whole game because he's like, wow, this girl doesn't need me, she wants me, so I need to get my stuff together. You're welcome. Does anyone doubt that when they created TikTok, they could have made a platform where you can talk about, I don't know, math, science, engineering, but instead we get this. We get this platform where this is promoted and even rewarded. I bet if I can listen really hard, I can hear them laughing all the way from here. What are you talking about, princess? Unless you're not able to move, you don't need no one. You either want a man or you want a woman. It's that easy. It's not about needing anyone. And this mindset, this all playing games, whoever needs, whoever most, it's the mindset that is going to keep you single. And it shows you're still single and you're teaching other women to be single. While you pretend that you're going to teach them how to get and how to be into a relationship. Lately that guys are trying to play hard to get when high key y'all are hard to want. Guys aren't playing hard to get. They just aren't dating anymore. Hard to want? There are so many amazing guys out there, but instead of going out and dating, they're hanging out with their friends and doing their hobbies. And I feel like this is just going to keep getting more common. Unless we can figure out how to get our shit together and treat men with the respect that they rightfully deserve. Yeah, so in a world where MGTOW became so big and so popular and still growing, she still believes that men are playing hard to get. No, princess, we are hard to get. And I'm afraid that sooner rather than later, we will become impossible to get. But you keep doing what you're doing, keep playing games, keep having the same mindset, and enjoy your single life. But anyway, this is gonna be it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.